Are we on? All right. Hi, everybody. John Meadows here. How are we sounding today? How's everything sound? The last time we were outside in the wind, and it was a little windy for the first 10 minutes. We're just checking the feedback here. How's the sound, guys? Let me know. Sounds great. All right, we're going to do legs. So <clears throat> I've been warming up. I want to show you the exercises so you can get warmed up too. The first thing we're going to do is actually a leg curl. So um, what I have here, Alexander, if you come here for a second. Um, I want to show you how we set up this band. You could set it up on a doorknob or whatever, but let me give you an idea how we have it set up. So this is actually a long red band and an orange band. Um, and the reason why I did this was because this thing is really big and round, so I, I wasn't able to pull back much, so we had to add this. So here's how you would do that. Um, for example, where's the gray band I was in? Okay, so here's what you would do. If you want to lengthen the band so you have further to pull, take one band and put it like this. Now watch what Alexander is doing. So he simply just pulled it through. Okay. So that's how, if you want to get a longer, if you want to set the band up so it's longer and you have a little bit more room, um, this is how you would do it. So that's what I did to set up the leg curl. I have a long red band and I have an orange band. You could use, if you have a smaller pole um, or like a doorknob, you can just use the, you could just use the red band and it would work. So this is about the right tension for me, the orange band. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step into it. Now I'm going to sit down in the chair right here. Now put, put the band down by your ankles and what we're doing is we're simulating a leg curl. So the tension is going to be pretty much from about here all the way in, right here. So go ahead and just get your leg curl set up, we're warming up. These feel really good. You can, you can lay on your belly and do them too, but I like them seated in the chair a little bit better. I feel like I'm pulling directly against the band and getting more tension this way. So I would sit up straight and just big flexes at the end and just get some blood in there. That's where we're going to start. Um, our second exercise is going to be banded good mornings. If you notice there's going to be a lot of ham and glute on this uh, some of the workouts I've done in the past were a little bit more quad specific. I want to get a lot of ham and glutes in this as well. So once we do, we're going to do four sets right there. So we're not going to be uh, doing giant sets today, going from exercise to exercise. Today it's going to be more straightforward, stay on the exercise. So once we do four sets there, we're going to do a banded good morning, which is really good for your glutes and your hams. So you're going to get a band, preferably a thicker band. You're going to squat down and just stand on it. So what you want to do is shoot your hips back like this. Come down. Now come up right there. So good stretch right here. The more you can get your hips back, the better. So that's going to be the second exercise we do. Uh, the third exercise we do, you knew it was coming. There's no escape. Uh, this one, we would need a short band for. You could also use a longer band and you could just kind of double it up the way you hold it. So, we're going to do the Bulgarians over here. So 
you've seen these before. <clears throat> We're going to do those. And then our last exercise is kind of a, a sissy squat, squat type hybrid exercise. Mainly sissy squats, mainly for your lower quads. So we're going to get in here. And you want the band to be around the back of your knee. You want to get up on your toes when you come down. So there's an exercise I've done before called a terminal knee extension where you do these with one leg and you just kind of flex. Well, it's kind of like a double terminal knee extension. You're doing both legs at once. <clears throat> like this. So watch as I go down. Watch as my feet come up. See how my, I'm on my toes? And then I'm driving my legs back like that. And I'm flexing my teardrop. <clears throat> so that's going to be the fourth exercise. And then I got a couple little bonus exercises I want you to try as well. Just so you can work them into your routine. But anyways, so I think we're ready to get started. Let's go with our leg curls. In between sets, we'll take a look at some of the questions coming in. I'll try to answer them uh, as best I can. So we're going to shoot for 10 to 12 reps on a leg curl. I want you to get into the flex position and really hold and flex. Okay? So... <clears throat> Again, just walk back, put the band around your, pretty much like your Achilles tendon. Okay, so right here. Bring all the way in and flex. We'll go with 15. 15. Okay, there's set number one. What questions do we have? Is it necessary to go to failure? You know what? I would prefer you go to failure. Um, I would prefer that, but if not, just get close. How deep should I go for squats? Um, once we do the squat, the, we're going to go down as low as you can. So the, the tension, not, it's not going to hurt your knees. We're doing them last, so your legs will be good and warmed up. Um, normally, going down really low like that and getting up on the balls of your feet is not a good idea. But again, we're doing more of a sissy squat, so it's a little different form. And then um, when do you know when Elite FTS is going to get the bands back? They didn't see that on the board. Uh, Elite FTS, we're looking at about two weeks to get more bands in. And you guys have the first shot at it. So before Dave even announces it, he's gonna tell me and I'm gonna announce it on my YouTube. So you, and I'm sure they're gonna sell out. I'm sure you guys are gonna be the ones that buy them all. Hey Alexander, why don't you grab mom? They, okay. want, they want to know if there's gonna be yo-yo tricks today. Absolutely. Definitely yo-yo tricks. We'll probably do a yo-yo trick after each exercise. So after leg curls, we'll do our first one. is about the right number for me on these. Now, what you can do is you can then move the chair back and just work the stretch position now a little bit more. So it's like a partial. So by moving it back, you made it harder, but you created more tension at the beginning of the movement. So you could pump a few extra reps in there. 
Okay, the hamstrings are now burning. I'm gonna rig this up for you, Mary, and see how it feels. Alright. I was thinking for my tennis. Oh, Xander, do me a favor, buddy. Yeah. See if um pull the green band through here. We're gonna rig one up for mama. How much rest between each uh, each round? Each set, 60 seconds rest between each set. Can you still build muscles in an advanced lifter with bands? Our goal right now is to maintain, for those of us who are advanced, if you're a beginner or intermediate, you can absolutely build muscle. Um, but it is hard to build a lot, a lot, like an extreme amount of muscle with just bands. I'd, it'd be misleading if I told you you could be Mr. Olympia by just using bands, because I, I don't think that'd be true. Are you ready for me? Yep. So now Mary's going to do a set. Um, we're going to try um, this band and see how it feels. It might be too easy. It might be too hard. I'm not sure. So, so step in here. Now what I want you to do is just walk backwards to the chair. Where should the band be? You're going to have them down here. So you're just going to walk backwards until you get to the chair. Keep going. Now sit down. Now what you're doing is you're doing a leg curl. So you're going to bring your legs up and now you're going to pull back and curl like that. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to flex right here. There you go. Just like that. You get... So I like the band right where it's at. So like 12, 15 reps. Is that good tension? Yeah, that feels really good. Right there. Yeah. It's hard, but... Whew! I don't know what number I'm on, but I gotta be getting there. Because I'm feeling it. 14 and 15. Woo! Alright, All right, now what? Just stand up. And now just take one leg out of the band. Let's stand up and just walk forward. And then you can let the band go. <laughs> All right, back to me. That's good. That's a good burn. Yeah, I like these. <clears throat> okay. Three, we're going to go 15 again. While Mary's going on her set, we'll answer a couple more questions. Do the bands lose elasticity over time? They do get a little looser over time, the bands. Um, these, these are pretty old. I've had these for a long time and they still have good tension, but they do eventually start to lose a little bit of tension for sure. What else? Uh, if you turn the chair the other way, do you, can you do leg extensions? Actually, so the leg extension, I have a bonus today. And I'm going to show you an, an exercise called a monster walk. And I'm also going to show you how to set up a leg extension. I like your thinking though. To me, because I don't have on sweatpants, feels better hooked on my shoe and yeah. ankle than on the back of my Yeah, leg. you don't want to do these with like no socks and shorts because the band does dig into your skin. But if you're wearing sweatpants, you don't even notice them. Do you, you do, um, do you do cardio? They weren't on? Just walking outside and playing basketball with kids. <laughs> to the mailbox. Yeah, but we have a long driveway. Everybody noticed that in the last video. <laughs> 
Okay, fourth set here. easy but by the time you get to the end it's not easy. Scoot back, do some partials. <clears throat> Throw a little iso hold in there. It's the last set. You guys know I like to go crazy on my last set. Ooh. chair back a little bit so it's even harder. <laughs> <laughs> this is our fourth last set. Out here, getting ready to come up with a yo-yo trick. To prevent cramping, when should you um, drink? Oh, that's a good idea. So, I kind of forgot my drink. I personally like to drink during the workout. Maybe a little bit before, but especially during. Um, if, if you guys have never ordered from Granite before, um, I have a really good code, Granite Strong, capital G, capital S, one word, 25. Granite Strong 25, if you've never tried our supplements, um, I'd love for you to give them a shot. This is the intro card. Got it? Done. Try some partials, little ones. Now try an ISO hold where you just hold it right there for like 10 seconds. You should feel that burn coming good. For sure. Would it be a good idea to do <clears throat> um, blood, flow, blood flow restriction and use bands? You can actually do that. You can actually use blood flow restriction on these. You'd get, you'd get a more rapid pump. Um, you can absolutely do that on, on, on any of this, really. All right, good job. <laughs> Alexander, you ready yeah. for the first yo-yo trick? Okay. Yeah. It's like a little ottoman. You like that, huh? <laughs> Mary's comfortable. She's just going to be here for the rest of the workout. <laughs> um, All right, what are we doing? Uh, Stand closer to the wood. Uh, like right here? Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> Um, rolling inverted GT. Look at the camera. Rolling here. inverted GT. Rolling inverted GT. Okay. crazy from behind. Yeah. I got a knot. You Let's got a knot. Looks crazy. I have underground. two knots now. Is it harder right. to do once it gets knots? Yeah, really way harder. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a little surprise for Alexander. He didn't know this, but if you guys like his yo-yo tricks, I've never done this before. Give him a super chat, give him a one dollar if you like it. 100% of the proceeds will go to Alexander because we appreciate what he's doing. So if anybody thinks his tricks are worth one dollar, that's the minimum, um, go ahead and donate. I've never had a super chat for ever because we just started doing these. But Alexander, I'm giving him a chance to be a little entrepreneur and make a little money. So if you think his tricks are worth one dollar, go ahead and give him a super chat. Okay, Mary, our second exercise is a banded good morning. This is for glutes and hams. Um, you're probably going to want, I'd say the orange band. Okay. Um, yeah, why don't you go ahead and grab this one? 
and I'll get started. So again, we're gonna we're gonna put this here. Alexander's got his first dollar. Who was it, Alexander? Alexander's typing at the computer, so make sure you type in thank you right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> so we're going to stand here, back with your hips until your glutes and hands are stretched, and then forward. We're going to do these nice and slow. We're going to do 10 reps nice and slow. Four. Come up, stand up straight. You don't need to lean back like that. Just stand up straight and flex your butt. So stretch right here, and then push your hips forward and flex. Right there, hips back, stretch. Right there. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Whew. Okay, your turn. <laughs> like this? Yeah. What do I do with my hand? I just, I hold the band. I just hold it like right here. But come down, hips out, stretch. Now stand up straight, flex your glutes. <clears throat> watching are going to ask where Mary got those pants because they're really cool pants. She got them from Celestial Bodies Collective. Celestial Bodies with a Z. They were a gift from our friend Ivana, um, who I'm sure you guys all remember. So if you, if you like those pants, that's where we got them from. And thank you, Ivana. Okay, back to me. My butt's burning. Mm -hmm. These look easy, but they are not easy. Oh, okay. Three. Notice how I'm sitting in that stretch. Right there, stretch. Boom. One more. Ooh. Got a question for Mary. Uh -oh. Question for Mary. How do you stop the band from ripping your hair out? <laughs> That's a good, that's a good I question. I don't know, it just does it. I guess maybe the way I set it in. Well, she can actually pull up on the band a little so it's not pulling down. Uh, I think that's what, yeah, because I didn't feel it the first time, but I felt it that time. So she's kind of pulling up so the band's not, I even know. pulling up, the band has still got tension in your hands. You're not making it easier. I loosened my hair. And actually the other thing is, if you want to make these harder, she could actually grip down there and squeeze and make it even harder if that's what she wanted to do. But I loosen it up, I pull up, because the band actually puts so much pressure on my neck, it cuts, <laughs> it's like it's gonna cut circulation off, make me pass out. So I actually pull up a little bit too, which actually makes it even harder. And then the lower down you hold the band, the harder it is. How do you focus on your glutes more than your lower back? So you keep your back flat. Don't go down so low your back starts to round like that. It will not 
work your glutes that much unless you push your hips back. You've got you to push your hips back like this. I concentrate on bending right here. Yeah, so she's taking this. Watch, watch where she's at. She starts here. Now look at where her hips end up. So they're moving back that far. So I don't feel it in my back. Ooh, I gotta be past 10 or 12. You're way past 10. <laughs> She's done all four sets at once. Woo! <laughs> okay. Um, what's this, set number three? Right? <clears throat> so again, if I wanted to make this harder, I could actually hold down here. Now it's real hard. But I'm gonna hold up here and I pull up. Those are so much harder than what they look. Five right, set. Yeah. Mary's only three sets. She hasn't done this particular exercise in a while, neither have I. So when you have an exercise you haven't done in a while, you don't want to do a ton of sets. So a few sets will get the job done. Um, can you tell a lot of the new, new people that are joining, they want to know about where they get the bands? Well, <laughs> the bands are from Elite FTS. so. They sold, the first time we did our band video, they sold pretty much out. And then they reloaded and we did another band video and they sold out again. So right now they're sold out, but as I was mentioning earlier, when they restock, they're given our group first shot at the bands. So I'll be in my community, I'll be posting as soon as they're available. And even if we get a couple bands, I'm gonna let you guys know, but they were literally, sold out of just about everything. The only bands they had left were the ones that are so thick you can't really do anything with them. Okay. All right. Alexander, ready for another yo-yo trick? I have to get a new string. Okay, he's getting a new string, so we're going to um, go ahead and get set up on our uh, Bulgarian split squats. You knew they were coming, and you know they're really painful. This is the only exercise that I do that makes me a little nervous inside. Like, oh my God, I know this is gonna hurt because it's so effective. Are your supplements available in the UK? The supplements right now are not available in the UK. I'm sorry, I wish they were, but they're just not right now. I think we can still send them, but I'm sure the cost to do that's really, really high. Um, but I, I appreciate you asking though. Any calves today? I think we're going to throw in some calves with a bonus. Hey, I'm here. Come here for, real quick. Yeah. Do me a favor. Get Jonathan. Get him warmed up, jump on the box. I'm going to let him jump on the box later. He's going to be able to earn some money. Okay. Shoot. How'd that one feel? <laughs> Good. Sweating. Can you see me okay over here, Noah? Yeah. Can you guys see okay? All right, I've got a short band. You can do these without a band. You don't even need a band. Or you can get a longer band and you could put it around your neck and under your foot. Kind of like we were just doing with the uh, band of Good Morning. I like to use a short band so that when I'm tired, I can just drop it and keep going with my body weight. So Mary may do these just with her body weight, for example. So I'm going to get my leg up for a Bulgarian and I'm going to put the band right under the middle of my foot and you're driving up with your glute. Here, let me switch. Let me switch and do it on this side so you can see a little better. So I'm driving up right here with my glute. You're going to feel it even in your adductors and your quads. We're going to do eight reps and then drop it. Do another eight. Two, 
three, four, six, seven. Okay, now sit here for 10 seconds, ISO hold. Oh, oh, that hurts. Okay, other side. That's awful. Oh. Whew. All right. Alexander, tell mama she's up. Okay. I need a break. You ready for your next video trick? Yep. Okay. Whew. Those are really hard. He's coming. Okay. Same thing, same place. Feel yeah. Safe. Do about 10, 12 reps. You know what? Do a stick? It would be a lot easier if I had a stick. You have room? Here, just hold on. Let me see if I can feel it without it. Is this right? Yeah. How many on each leg? 10 or 12. You come down, try to come back. You don't like that thing. There you go, right there. Woo! Right there. Yowza! How many on each leg? Ten. Woo! Yeah, it burns. Ten here. Woo! Painful. Last one. Okay, ten. Done. Wow. Yeah, those are those are pretty nasty. All right, Alexander, let's hit the yo-yo trick. Okay. Somebody wants to know how many sets of the good mornings you did. Four. Four sets on the good mornings. What should I do? Um, okay, I know. This is called st Stop and Go. And so. Do that one more time. I need to see that. Okay. Did you see it? Yeah, it's so quick. That's so quick and fancy. Those are absolutely nasty. That's the hardest thing that I do with bands. So, I got another surprise for you guys. If you just stick with me for another 10 minutes, I got another cool surprise. Oh, oh man, my legs are hurting. Okay, next set.
again, these these band exercise or workouts are more for maintaining your muscle, not not putting it on. Correct. Well, it depends on how hard you train. Like for example, that exercise there, that's really really hard. So if you're not used to training that hard, that'll put muscle on you. It just depends on the level of effort and the intensity. So you can use a stick or something with for uh, for balance. Perfect. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Take your time. Woo wee. You can just get ready on this time. We're just in two sets. Where should I feel this most? Glutes and quads. How do you emphasize um, your legs in a split squat if you have a large band that you have to put around your neck? Well, hang on, let me tie my shoes. Okay, so you emphasize your quads by staying a little more upright. And if you lean forward, you can get a little more glute work. No matter how you do them, you're going to feel in your quads though. You're extending your knee. There's no way you can't feel it in your quads. But if you want a little bit more quad, then stay up upright. We're doing two sets here. Those are really, really hard. I have like an all out full leg pump right now. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Burning and winded. All right, guys. Now we're gonna move on to that sissy squat I was telling you about. Alexander, if you come here and help me out. You know what? Grab the gray one. Okay, what do do here? Show everybody on the camera what you're doing. You guys see that? Okay, good job, Alexander. Now we're doing the sissy squat. No glutes or hams, this is all quads, especially lower quads. Now you want the band to go right behind your knee. About right here. When you go down, come up on your toes. And then when you come up, the key is, is to drive your knees back and flex your quads. The further back you go, the harder it is. Now watch, up on my toes, I'm flexing, flex, toes, flex. This one is going to surprise the heck out of you. You won't believe how hard that contraction is. Okay, I'm starting to get some cramps in my quads. How is that for knee pain? It's really good. To, when you strengthen the muscle by your kneecaps, right here, it takes pressure off your knees. So it's a really good exercise to create stronger knees. If the band feels uncomfortable behind your uh, leg, you can just wrap a towel or something around it or a little wash rag. So it does, because it does, if the band gets super tight, it does feel a little bit funny now, it doesn't bother me, but I can see where someone would say it's a little uncomfortable. 
You want to try this one, Mary? Sure. Okay. Mary hasn't done these. So what you're going to do, Mary, is step in here. And you're going to want the band to walk backwards to be right behind your knee. Now, really slowly, I want you to squat down and come up. And my like, shoulder. Move your feet a little bit closer together. Okay, good. Now, the balance thing, it might take you a couple reps to kind of get the balance right. Okay. But you're coming down on your knee, your upper ball of your foot. Then when you come up, you're driving your knee back and flexing these muscles. Am I keeping my feet flat or going on? Go down. Now, come up on the ball of your foot when you go down. So come down like this. Now come up and now push your knees back and flex these muscles right here. There you go. There you go. Come down. Now flex. Two. Does it matter if I go back on flat foot or just stay on my ball of my feet? I come down flat. I get back flat footed. Does it matter? No. Well, I just might need it for balance. Yeah. So stretch. There you go. It's a lot harder than what it looks. Two more. Ooh, really? The key too is that flex. When she's coming up, she's driving her, she's driving the band back. And I can definitely feel it. Woo. Right there. Good. Ooh. Okay, just step forward. You remember when we used to do these with one leg? Yes. The terminal knee extensions. Yeah. It's very similar to that. Okay. The difference is, is now we're coming up with the ball of our foot and really putting a lot of pressure on it right there. I really do have like some semi cramps down here. See how I'm sitting down? I'm gonna flex. Sit down. Flex. Squat, you prefer the safety bar or barbells for squatting? Safety bar, for me personally. When I was younger, I preferred the regular barbell. I don't quite have the shoulder and elbow mobility now that I had when I was younger. So now the safety bar is what I prefer. Just remember when you're doing these guys, when you're coming up, push your knee back and flex the bottom of your quad. We saved this exercise for last because anytime you come up on the balls of your foot, you are putting a little more pressure on your knee. So you want to be really, really warmed up. And one thing we can say for sure is that after those Bulgarian split squats, we're warmed up. That's a guarantee. You know the strength of the gray band, like in pounds? I don't know the strength of it, but that gray band is really thick. That's a tough one. And again, if I wanted to make it harder, I could just move out further and create more tension. If you want to make it easier, you know, what I could have done is I could have started really far back and did like four and then stepped up a little, done like four and stepped up a little and done like four more. Okay, Alexander, we got one more yo-yo trick. What do I do? I don't know. Jonathan? Yeah? Come here. Um. One more yo-yo trick. Um, in the box. I'm trying to think yeah. of one. Just freestyle. This was uh, okay. Start going. Maybe you'll come up with stuff as you're going. Nice. Is that okay? <laughs> Does that one have a name? I yeah. just did whatever. I would call that speed racer. <laughs> Okay. Speed racer is what I would call that. All right, guys, I have another special treat for you.
Come here, Jonathan. If you guys don't watch my Instagram, you probably don't know who this is. Jonathan is usually on my Instagram, whereas Alexander's on YouTube. This is Alexander's twin brother. They really are twins. Who's the oldest? Come here. Who's the oldest? Who's the oldest? Me. By how much? One minute. He's the oldest by one minute. Jonathan is incredibly athletic. Um, he does some pretty amazing jumps. I want to show you how he jumps today. We got in the Elite FTS jump box here. So Jonathan's just kind of getting warmed up here. Just do a couple jumps here. This is pretty easy for him. Let's turn this way so everybody can see you jumping. Okay. Now jump up. Okay. Do a couple more. Do like two of them. Two more. Okay, rest. So, how do you feel about doing it here? Can you do that? Yeah. All right, we're going to rest. I want you to rest. So rest right now. I like this plyometric stuff because it teaches explosiveness. All right, it doesn't make you bigger, but it teaches the muscles to generate a lot of force because you're moving at a fast velocity. So you generate a lot of force and you get really explosive. So what I like to do with these guys is I love to have them do box jumps. We do other kinds of jumps too, but I love box jumps. This one is, how high is that one, buddy? I'm pretty sure it says like 30 or something. 30? So this is 30. This is pretty high or far, far up. This is, so let's see how you do on this, John. Okay. All right, big explosion. There we go. Okay, rest. Remember, swing. Good, one more rest. Good job, good job. So there's some 30 inch boss jumps there. Very, very good. My legs are warmed up, but they're really tired. But I can't let Jonathan do boss jumps on his own. I gotta do a couple, all right? Wow. <laughs> I'm a little scared because I'm scared my quads are gonna cramp. I'm going to start easy. When you do a box jump, you want to create as much force this way as you can. So swing really hard. You want your back flat right here. You don't want to be like this. So swing and then turn around and swing back far, fast as you can to generate inertia and momentum. See how I tried to come back fast? The faster you come back, the more stretch reflex you have. Okay? Okay, you think I can do the next one? Yeah. All right. What's your thought on adding ankle weights doing this? What I would do if I was going to use weights is I would actually hold a ball. I would hold a medicine ball and I would jump. about trying the next one. I'm not sure I want to do that. I'll do one more here. Would box jumps help with your deadlift? The box jumps will help you develop speed. It's called speed strength. Let me give you an example of who uses these for deadlifts and squats. Louis Simmons, Westside Barbell. Louis would not use these if they're a waste of time. Um, speed strength, so developing force fast. So again, it's not gonna give you maximal strength, but it's gonna teach you how to move the weight fast. All right, Jonathan, since I gave your brother this opportunity, if you guys are happy to see Jonathan, 
we're gonna, if you can spare one more dollar for Jonathan, this is all gonna go to him from this point on. Jonathan's gonna do a couple more box jumps. This summer, we got some crazy athletic stuff he's gonna show you. He's a little gymnast. Um, Jonathan, let's do one more. Then I want you to thank everybody. And uh, let's do one more good one here. Big arm swing down fast. Good job. Good job. Okay, guys. We'll take a couple more questions. Um, Jonathan, make sure you say hi to everybody. Hello. Um, a couple more questions. If you got any questions for the kids, that's fine. If you got any questions for Mary, that's fine. If you got any questions for me, that's fine. Do um, long pants restrict your box jumps? Yes, I would much rather be wearing shorts. That's a great question. They feel a lot better wearing shorts, for sure. Can you use bands while doing box jumps? Can you use bands doing jumps? Okay. I have an exercise index video called Banded Squat Jumps. And what we do is we take the red band, two of them, and if you look up that video, I put it over my shoulder and I attach it to a heavy dumbbell. So I put a dumbbell on each side of me, and I put a band into it, around my neck on one side, around my neck on the other side, and I jump up in the air against the bands. Look it up on my exercise index videos. Banded squat jumps. If I had some heavy dumbbells here, I would do them right now. That's how much I love them, I love them. What is the best way to do squats if you only have 135 pounds available? Um, what I would probably do, depending on how strong you are, is I would probably try to do some split squats. It depends on what, what kind of equipment you have available. If you only have a barbell, then, I'd probably try to do some pre-exhaustion first, like some kind of leg extension, some kind of um, the sissy squat I did, although I'd prefer you do those when you're already warmed up. I'd try to do something pre-exhaust wise and then do the squat. Or you could even do like a lunge, so it's a lot harder on one leg. Uh, do band workouts and peak recovery for heavy so do band, do band workouts and peed recovery for barbell workouts? They absolutely can, for sure. If you go really, really hard, like if I've done six sets, like I'm gonna train um, my legs again on Friday. If I would have done four or five, six sets of those Bulgarians, I'd probably be hurting on Friday. So they absolutely can. I wanna show you guys another exercise real quick. Favorite Marvel character? Favorite Marvel character is easy, Galactus. That's an easy one. Um, these are called monster walks. So a lot of people will do this, which is great, but I like to do these. I actually was doing these in the gym before I did leg presses. Step forward and out like this. Then you go backwards. It looks easy, but I guarantee you when you do them, you feel that in your glute medius I'm on the side. That's another great simple band exercise you can add. Those are called monster walks. Can you do it walking this way? Yeah. So, forward and out, like this, and then back, like this. Forward and out. Again, especially for the ladies, work in this area right here. Really, really effective. Really effective. Now, I got one more exercise I want to show you here real quick. Just to demonstrate it. It's a leg extension. Here, you're going to have to play around with this. The right kind of band. I've got a shore band hooked underneath the chair here, if you can see it. So, you could also... You could also do these. So the band is going to resist this way. So if you sit here and you just come up, you'll get a little get the top of it. Now what I do is I scoot forward and I actually raise my leg up a little. This activates your hip flexors, and I only come out about three quarters of the way. Right there. That's where the peak tension is. It's right there. And I'll do like eight here. And then I'll sit back and I'll do eight flexes at the top. So sit forward, leg up, activate your hip flexors, come out to right here, 
about three quarters of the way up, and then sit back and get the last quarter of the way up to finish, like that. I wanted to show you that, that's another good band exercise. We got any questions on there for Mary or for the kids? Uh, will burpees burn into your muscle mass? Burpees are good for your cardiorespiratory system, your heart and lungs. And it's good to develop endurance so you don't tire out before you can tire your muscles out. But it's not as, I mean, they're not gonna magically eat all your muscle away, but there's no need to do them constantly, do them all the time. I mean, I'm okay with them, just, there's nothing magical about them. They're just good for your cardiorespiratory, your heart, your lungs, which is good. It's good to extend your lifespan, it's good for health. Are you gonna be live streaming weekly? Um, there's a, if, if we get enough activity and interest on these live streams, I'd love to keep doing them. That's, that's just up to you all. If we get a lot of activity, we'll definitely keep doing them. Are you sad about Black Widow getting delayed? I am extremely sad about Black Widow getting delayed. I'm not happy about that at all. So I'm very disappointed in that. And you know what else was supposed to come out? A Quiet Place 2. I love the first Quiet Place. I think that I think we missed that one too. They want to know how long uh, Alexander's been doing yo-yo practicing. Since late, since late November of last year. Since November of 2019 yep. is when Alexander started. Hey, if you guys want to do something really cool, there's a guy named Gentry Stein, S-T-E-I-N. He's got a YouTube. Um, that's who does coaching sessions with Alexander once in a while. Go over to Gentry Stein's YouTube and just say you're doing a great job with Alexander Meadows. The Gentry would love that. By the way, he's also the Yo-Yo World Champion. He's number one in the world. He's a super cool dude. He's two-time World Yo-Yo Champion and four-time uh, regional, I mean, national champion. So he's really good, in other words. Yeah, he's really good. And he's sponsored by Yo-Yo Factory. And I use the bimetal shutter. Alexander, if you go to his website, he's using the bimetal shutter. Yeah, it's his newest. It's a program. really nice one. What else? Uh, two, two questions. How long have you been married? And what's your favorite Marvel movie? Uh, we've been married since 2002. Right. <laughs> favorite Marvel movie? It was probably Infinity Wars, where, I was, where um, Thanos wiped her by out at the end. What was your favorite one? My favorite? Yeah, one. like Thor, Iron Man. So which one did you like? Black Panther, Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know that I have a favorite. I go for the company, not the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weak answer. <laughs> Best answer I got. Do you do you worry about um, hitting different parts of your body for resistance while you're at home, or do you just pretty much do whatever? Look, I'm not overly technical at home. Like I could have done ten different variations of that leg extension. I'm just trying to get some good work in. Um, I'm not using you know seven exercises for legs and seven different angles. I'm just trying to keep us all going, just get some work in, get some good quality work in, strain, put in a little effort. So I'm not as picky right now as I am when I'm normally in the gym. Okay, Mary, here's a question for you. Uh-oh. Who's your favorite bodybuilder? Well, of course. <laughs> so I'm, I, you can't count me because I haven't competed for a while. Oh, man, that's tough. Yikes. I don't know. you got to come up with somebody. Oh man, I don't want to come up with somebody else. <laughs> yeah, you have to. We, no, we, no, no, we can't, can't continue the live stream unless you give the people what they want. You've got to give them an answer, right? <laughs> hmm, wow. Let's see. I guess maybe uh, Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler, that's a good one. <laughs> that's what I thought. That's a good one. Very good. Make sure you guys tell Jay Cutler that. All right. All right, what else? Do you have any dogs? We don't have a dog now. Um, obviously the name Mountain Dog came from Bernese Mountain Dogs. Um, we had a girl Bernese Mountain Dog for many years until she passed away. Then we got our boy Atlas and he passed away right when we moved into this house. So we actually haven't had one for um, a couple years now, but I'm looking for that to change here pretty soon. We'll see. We're just, we're still getting kind of settled in. There's uh, some, some craziness going on here, but we're, um, we had we had Lucy for five years and we had Atlas for about eleven. So we had sixteen years in a row where we had Bernie's Mountain Dog. Were you happy with Fat Thor? 
I was extremely disappointed with Fat Thor. I was completely turned off by that. When they had it at the beginning, it was like, okay, that's kind of funny. But then he never changed. He just stayed like that. It was very disappointing. Um, you know, and his little funny stuff, a little bit of it was funny. But then they kept trying to make him funny and they kept doing more and more. And, and I, was, I was tuning out. That actually, that actually was one of the lowest points of that movie for me was what they did with Thor. Uh, now this is for you, John. Who is your favorite bodybuilder? My favorite bodybuilder, um, all time, uh, probably like Lee Haney. I was a big Tom Platts fan. Um, I mean, in terms of physical look, I like Flex Wheeler. Personality-wise, and just overall as one package, probably Lee Haney. Uh, how would you ease into training to the gym again? That's gonna be it. So we're gonna have a video on that once the gyms open back up. How would you ease back in? Basically, you train like a beginner for the first couple weeks. Um, you train like a beginner. Um, I, I actually just finished writing a beginner training program too. So um, once we get back into the gyms, I'm actually gonna have that available. But you basically train like a beginner. You go in there three, four times. You just touch every body part once with an exercise get back into the swing of things. And then once you're back acclimated, then you can start working your intensity up slowly. But we'll have a really good video on that once we're allowed, once we're allowed back into the gym. Can, can you uh, mention again how accelerating eccentrics work? Oh, over speed eccentrics. Yeah, I mentioned that in the last band video. So a band gives you over speed eccentrics. So normally you lower the weight. The band resistance, let's like let's think about a squat. If you have a band in your squat, like if you got a barbell and you have bands. So when you're at the top, the bands are fully stretched out. So they're yanking you down really fast. So that's what we call overspeed eccentrics. When you get down to the bottom, the bands will shorten and they'll loosen up. But when you start that eccentric, the bands provide extra pressure and a lot of it. So it's not just a normal eccentric, it's actually an overspeed eccentric. Um, that can help your explosiveness because when you come down fast and you, and you change direction, you can create a lot of momentum, all right? That's how athletes can do so much stuff, that stretch reflex. If you have great isometric strength, when you come down, you can stop and come right back up. If you're really weak isometrically, here's what happens. Here's what happens. You come down and then you kind of buckle and then you come up. If you're really strong isometrically, you come down, stop, boom, you fire back up. That's why isometric training is so good for athletes. What are your thoughts on Thor's 501 kilogram deadlift? I'm assuming there's um, some other guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah, <laughs> I actually didn't see the deadlift. Um, I heard him and Eddie Hall had some kind of argument, but I'm really not familiar with what it is. So I don't even know. All right, a couple more guys. Got any questions on there for the kids? Grandmaster versus High Evolutionary. I the, don't know if they're talking about the, the program. Yeah. The Grandmaster was the one I launched right before we went in quarantine. Then when we went in quarantine, I kind of I stopped advertising it. Um, the Grandmaster and the High Evolutionary are very similar. The High Evolutionary, I've got more positive feedback on that. I mean, the feedback on that one was incredible. So the high evolutionary or the grandmaster is very similar. So it's just different exercises, but the concepts, the rest breaks, the split, the structure, the intensity, it's all very, very similar. Very, very similar. You can't go wrong with either one of them. Okay, Mary, this is for you. Yes. Do you have any hobbies? Do I have any hobbies? Wow. Yes, she does. I do? Yes, you do. Yeah, what are, what are crochet. Crochet? Yeah, I used to crochet. So, I'd really like to get back into crocheting. You used to sew. Used to sew, yep. I've got used a, to. Yeah, I know. I've got a sewing room. I've got a craft room all set up, but I really haven't been crafting much lately. Yeah, so. she's been a little busy homeschooling the kids on quarantine. Yep, homeschooling kids and our, my parents live with us, so that keeps me busy too. But I would like to get back into crafting again. She's got a craft room. One of these days we'll take a tour and you can see her craft room. <laughs> it's not really a craft room. Yeah, right now it's more of a playroom than it is a craft room. <laughs> What's Jonathan's favorite sport? Oh. Come here. What's your favorite um, sport, bud? And sportsman. Come here. Come here. What's your favorite sport? 
I'm not sure. Either football or basketball. Football or basketball? Yeah. I mean, we, we just got out of basketball, so, I mean... Well, they were getting ready to start soccer, but the season got canceled. But in terms of what he actually enjoys... I mean, I enjoy basketball and football. Like and on, he enjoys basketball and football. On football, he was, he's been an all-star the last two years. Um, he plays tight end on offense, usually, you know, defense. Usually, well, he plays... This year, he'll probably be either defensive end or a corner, probably a corner. Actually, you like safety, too, don't you? Yeah. Might be safety. We'll see. We'll see. But he's he's working on his foot speed, his foot coordination. He's very, very agile. He's very fast and very agile. So what was the other one? What was sports? His favorite sports. Man. Like your fourth favorite athlete. Yeah. Um, like LeBron or whoever. I'm not sure. There's lots of them. Like who, who pops into your head? Um, I like Seth Curry. I thought I was sitting here thinking he was going to say Seth Curry. I was just that's like, who I like. That's what I was saying. He likes Seth Curry. I do too. We all like Seth Curry. <laughs> all right, guys, one more. Okay, I had one that scrolled by. Uh, is the tight bench press the best exercise for a long tricep head on? Guessing they mean close grip. Okay, say that again. The tight bench press is it the best for the long tricep head? I'm thinking close tight grip bench. bench. Yeah, it is definitely good for the long head of your tricep. Um, usually, what you'll hear people say is that when you have your humerus pointing up, um, you're going to get mo most long head activation. Um, that long head actually attaches to your scapula, so when you get up like this, you're going to put that position, that muscle in a position to work really hard. I like to do, the other thing the long head does too, is you know, normally you do a push down right here. When you get to where you're back like this, it, it activates really good too. So here's a, another good one. You get the dual rope, look up in my exercise index, dual rope tricep extensions. So we use two ropes and we come all the way back like that. It's almost like a kickback. You can feel that demolishing that, that long head of your tricep. Do you have any advice for a brand new dad? Brand new dad, I definitely have advice. So if anybody offers you help, friends, family members, if they offer you, hey, can we come over and help out for two hours? Can we bring you a meal? Whatever they offer, accept it, take it. Don't let your ego get in the way and go, oh, I can handle it. Take all the help you can get. That's my advice. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you appreciated it. Um, we'll keep doing these as long as everybody likes them, as long as we have good, you know, people watching. So um, thanks a lot, um, Alexander and Jonathan, for being in the video. Thanks to my wife, Mary, for working hard. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Hopefully you had fun. And uh, we're going to try to figure out how to get this up. So I know it takes a little while to process, but we'll have this video up on the YouTube channel as well. So we're just kind of learning this live stuff. This is brand new for us. So thank you.